Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Portainer on a Proxmox LXC. So, um, I did make a video on how to install this uh, about six months ago, but I want to keep these videos updated as much as possible for the Big Bear community. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, some song things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Portainer. I'm going to be installing it on Proxmox LXC. And um, I did make a video on how to do that, but it's gotten a little bit outdated and I need to update it. So I'm updating it now. Um, so you can manage your Docker and Kubernetes and Docker and Pose uh, from the Portainer's UI. And this is the Portainer Community ed Edition. Um, so that's what we will be installing today. So I'm going to be using Proxmox V helper scripts. I'm going to go uh, to the website of helperscripts.com. And then I'm going to go, go go browse the scripts. So I'm going to go over the search and type Docker. And now it comes up, Docker LXC. Um, so I'm going to um, copy this right here. You can either go default or alpine. Um, I'm going to go default. And now if you go up to view on GitHub, and then you type in Docker in the search, and then you can go to ctdocker.sh right here. So, um, so the default settings are set right here, and then um, the update script for running it again in the LXC console is to update app get update, and then app get upgrade, and then start build container and description. If we go over to search and we type Docker again, we go to install docker install.sh right here. Then um, now when you run it in the actual shell um, of your node, this is what will run. So apt to get install curl sudo and mc. And then set a function right here to get the latest from GitHub or, or repos. And then we're going to use that function in here to get the Docker Portainer Portainer Agent and then Docker Impose. Um, so now we're going to come down here and Docker Config Path. We're going to set a variable for etc Docker da Damien dot JSON, and then we're going to make sure that's created. And then um, we're going to echo out, and then we're we're going to install Docker right here. And then we're going to say that uh, that a Docker is installed. And then now we're going to come down here and ask the user if they'd like to add Portainer. Um, so if this is true, then it'll come down here and then it'll say installing Portainer, setting up the Docker volume and then Docker run. And then we're going to say installed Portainer. Uh, so if this is not true and it'll go down to else, and then it'll come down here and ask the user if you would like to add a Portainer agent. And then it'll come down here if true. And then it'll co uh, come in here and installing Portainer agent. And it's going to set up Portainer agent on Docker run. Then it's going to message the user installed Portainer agent. And then um, it's going to come down here next and ask the user if they'd like to install Docker Compose. And then if the user says yes, and, and this is true, it'll come down here and say installing Docker Compose. And then it'll say installed. So now it'll set up SH, uh, SSH and customize. And then it's going to clean up down here. The app to get auto remove and auto clean. So that's a little bit about the helper scripts. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start in my Proxmox. I'm going to go to my node, and then I'm going to go to Shell, and then I'm going to uh, clear this out. 
And then I'm going to paste in the command that I copied over in helperscripts.com. And then I'm going to run it. Uh, that's return or enter. Then this will create a new Docker LXC proceed. I'm going to say return or enter. And then we can use the default settings uh, if you'd like uh, by a return or enter. Or we can go over to advanced and return or enter. Then we can uh, make a selection with uh, use uh, the space bar. So um, now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go down to Ubuntu and then I'm going to pick Jamie. And then we can say I'm privileged. You can set a root password if you'd like for root SSH access. I'm going to return or enter. Then you can set the container ID. I'm going to go with 108. And then um, you can set the host name, which this will be the name shown over here. Um, so you can go in here and say Portainer. I'm going to say YT for YouTube. Then you can set the disk size. So I'm going to give it 10 gigabytes. And then you can allocate CPU cores. You can set RAM here. So you can give it three. And then I'm going to return or enter, return or enter, and return or enter. And then you can also disable IPv6 if you'd like. Say no. Return or enter, return or enter, return or enter. So now you can say verbose mode. And this makes it to where uh, you can, if something airs out and you need to see more details, you can go over here and press uh, a pr a press uh, select on the yes. Or you can go on the no. I'm going to go no. And then it says ready to create Docker LXC. I'm going to press return or enter for yes. Now it's validating the storage. And it looks like it's being created over here. Now it's starting the LXC container that it created. So now we're here on the step of would you like to add the portainer? I'm going to uh, press Y for yes, and then I'm going to return or enter. So now it's installing Portainer 219.5. So now it's saying, would you like to add Docker Compose? I'm going to say Y for yes, and then return or enter. And then now it uh, installed Docker Compose, it customized the container, cl cleaned up, and then it completed successfully. So. We successfully got Portainer installed on Proxmox LXC. So now if you want to find your LEN IP, you can get to it from the network connected right here. Or if you don't have the screen anymore, you can go over to the LXC, click it, go to console, and then I'm going to clear. And then I'm going to type host name, if I can type, and then I. So now the the host name it put the LEN IP address right here so you copy that and then you're going to put 9443 on the end of it uh, as the port and then you'll be able to go to the UI so now we're going to update uh, the docker LXC so I'm gonna go over to the LXC and then console and then I'm gonna be in the console I'm gonna paste in the command that I pasted in the shell to create the docker LXC it's the same command that we copied over from helper scripts. So now I'm going to run it, return or enter. It says now support slash update functions for Docker LXC proceed. I'm going to say return or enter for yes. Now it's updating the Docker LXC and then it'll say updated Docker LXC. So now I'm going to uh, try to sign up, but I'm going to be presented with uh, that we've waited too long and we can't sign up now. So I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to go to uh, the Portainer's uh, IP address and then 9443. So make sure it's HTTPS. So I'm going to go to it. And uh, we're using a self-signed certificate. So I'm going to go to Advanced, Proceed. Now you'll get the error of your Portainer instance timed out for security purposes. Um, so I'm going to go back to my Proxmox. And you can actually restart your Docker container, or you can just go up here to Proxmox and reboot.
and now the LXC is rebooting. So I'm going to go back into the LXC and Docker PS, and you can see the status is up for five seconds. So I'm going to go back over to my portainer and then refresh the page. So now uh, we're able to sign up now. So with a new portainer installation, you can sign up with username and password to confirm password. Um, if you want to restore a portainer backup, you can do it this way as well. So I'm going to um, uh, ch change the username to Big Bear, and then I'm going to put my password in. So now I'm going to confirm the password. So now once we've done that, we get the create user button available now. You can also allow collection of anonymous statistics if you like. I'm going to create user now. So now uh, we successfully set up Portainer. So now when we're on the starting of the quick setup, you can um, uh, proceed to using the local environment or you can add environment. I'm gonna pr proceed. So now you can dismiss this. You can also go on, uh, into here and see the local. So you can see your stacks, your images, networks, container, volumes, environment, URL, GPU, and tags. You can go over here to app templates and then stacks and then containers, the images, networks, volumes, and then events, and then the ho the host, and then set up a re a registries, and then users down here. So you can add a user. You can see the users. You can go into the teams and roles and environments and then a uh, groups tags and then the registries and we have anonymous for a docker hub right now you can go in to add a registry uh, docker hub aws quay pro git azure uh, github uh, a, a gitlab and then a custom a uh, registry and um you can go into authentication logs and then activity logs. Uh, this is a business feature though. And the notifications, the settings down here, and you can back up Portainer and you can put a password on the backup. You can also store it in S3 if you have the business feature. And then hidden containers, SSL certificate, Kubernetes application settings, and then authentication, internal, LDAP, and OAuth, and Microsoft Active Directory if you have the business feature. And you can change the session lifetime, the password rules, and save settings once you're done with these, uh, edge compute, and then about. So that's a little bit about Portainer's UI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Portainer installed on a Proxmox LXC. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.